Hi guys, today we're going to look at how to make a game object accelerate by applying forces to it. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. Right, let's get started by creating a new 3D project in Unity Hub. The first thing we need is an object to apply forces to. For this we'll head over to the Asset Store by clicking Window, Asset Store and we'll search for Space Fighter. We'll download and import this free asset. Now we'll navigate to the Meshes folder in the Project panel. From here we can drag the Space Fighter into the scene. We'll reset its transform by clicking these three dots and then on Reset. Next we'll position the camera above the Space Fighter by selecting it in the hierarchy and setting its position to 90 on the Y axis, 0 on the Z axis and its rotation to 90 on the X axis. We'll also set the Clear Flags value to Solid Colour and set the background to black so it looks a bit more like space. The final thing we'll do to improve the appearance of the scene is to generate the lighting. To do this we'll select Window, Rendering, Lighting Settings and then we'll tick the Auto Generate checkbox. Now we're going to look at how we can apply forces to the Space Fighter. For us to be able to do this we need to select the Space Fighter in the hierarchy. Click Add Component and search for the Rigid Body Component. The Rigid Body Component will put the movement of the Space Fighter under the control of Unity's physics system. If we then press play, we'll see that the Space Fighter now falls due to gravity. This isn't the behaviour we want, so we'll stop the game and uncheck the Use Gravity checkbox in the Inspector panel, which will stop gravity being applied to our fighter. Next we'll write a script to apply a force when we press the spacebar. To do this we'll click on Add Component, search for the script component and add a new script called Fighter Movement. We'll double click the script in the project panel to open it in Visual Studio. The first thing we'll do is add a public variable to hold the size of the force we want to apply. Then we'll add a private boolean that we'll use to determine whether we need to apply the force or not. In order to apply a force we'll need access to the rigid body component. We'll add another private variable for this. In the start method we can then get the rigid body component and assign it to this variable. In our update method, we'll check to see if the spacebar is being pressed. If it is, then we'll set our boolean variable to true. Otherwise, we'll set it to false. The next thing to do is actually apply the force to push the fighter forwards. We could do this in the update method, but this isn't really the correct place for it. Unity has another method specifically for physics calculations called Fixed Update. In here we'll check if we need to apply the force. If we do, we'll add the force to the rigid body. As we want the space fighter to travel in the direction it's facing, we'll use the Add Relative Force method which applies the force relative to the rotation. The forward direction of the fighter is along the negative z-axis, so we'll apply the force on the z-axis and multiply the size by minus 1 to make it move in the right direction. We'll now save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll select the fighter in the hierarchy and set the force size to 20 in the inspector panel before pressing the play button. If we press the spacebar the fighter will now accelerate and fly off the screen. Next we'll make things a bit more interesting by letting the player control the direction of the space fighter. We'll stop the game by pressing the play button again and we'll switch back to the script. We'll add a public variable to hold the rotation speed. Then we'll get the player input for the horizontal axis and assign it to a variable. 
This will give us a value ranging from minus 1 to 1, depending on whether the player is pressing the left or right keys. We'll combine this variable with our rotation speed to determine the rotation angle, remembering to multiply by time dot delta time to ensure the rotation is consistent regardless of our frame rate. We'll then rotate around the y-axis using the shorthand vector 3 up for the y-axis. We'll save the script, switch back to Unity and set the rotation speed to 50 in the inspector panel. If we press play now, we'll be able to rotate the space fighter with the left and right arrow keys and move forwards by pressing the spacebar. What you might notice is that the fighter is quite hard to keep under control. This is because there is no friction or drag to slow it down, so it just gets faster and faster. We'll stop the game again and set the drag value of the rigid body to 0.5. If we press play again, the fighter will now slow down when we release the spacebar. This may not be an accurate representation of what would happen in space, but it does make it much easier to control the fighter. OK, that covers everything for this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!